Hi guys, Lando Assistant here and let's take a look at this Ramanujan's problem he posed more than 100 years ago. Let's say we are given this problem. Find the value of x where x is equal to the square root of 1 plus 2 times the square root of 1 plus 3 times the square root of 1 plus 4 times the square root of 1 plus and then continue the pattern. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's explore first this equation, 3 is equal to square root of 9. Of course, that's correct. But notice that this radicand 9 can be expanded as 1 plus 8. And this 8 can also be written as 2 times 4. And this 4 here can be written as square root of 16 because the square root of 16 is 4. All the rest are copied. But this radicand 16 also can be split as 1 plus 15. And this 15 can be written as product 3 times 5 and this 5 can be written as square root of 25 and this 25 can be split as 1 plus 24 and this 24 can be written as 4 times 6 and this 6 can be written as square root of 36 and this square root of 36 is split again as 1 plus 35 and this 35 is written as 5 times 7. Now let's compare this result with the original problem. This is what we have so far, splitting 3 into nested radicals. And this was the original problem we started with. Notice that term by term, they are all the same, only that you have here these three dots, which means continue the pattern. And the pattern seems to be like this. Now, how can we generate these nested radicals so that we can show that in general this pattern really is similar to the one at the bottom. So we're going to use a little algebra. So let's begin with the square of a binomial x plus 1. Squaring this binomial, we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then let's factor out x. So x times the quantity x plus 2, then copy plus 1, and interchange the order of the terms. This is what we are going to use in order to generate these nested radicals. So let's put this here. Now let's assign values for x. Let's say x equals 2. When x equals 2, substitute x equals 2 to this square binomial. We now have this replacing all x's by this green 2's. And simplifying, the left becomes 3 squared, and the right side becomes 1 plus 2 times 4, because 2 plus 2 is 4. Then take the square root of both sides, and simplify, we now have this radical expression for 3. The square root of 1 plus 2 times 4, and let's put that here. Notice now that we already have this 1 and 2, similar to the original one. Then let's take care of this 4. Let's substitute x equals 3 to this binomial. And similar to what we did in the first example, we simplify and we arrive at 4 equals square root of 1 plus 3 times 5. We are now going to replace this purple 4 by this radical expression to arrive at this. And notice now that comparing our original nested radicals, we already have the 1, the 2, the 1, and the 3. And we have this 5 that we are going to take care of in the next iteration. So let x be equal to 4. And simplifying, we arrive at 5 equals the square root of 1 plus 4 times 6. So let's replace this 5 by this radical to arrive at this. And again, comparing the original one with our results, we now have this 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, taken care of by this last equation. Then let's expand this 6 this way. Let x be equal to 5 and substitute that in the original square binomial. To arrive at this result, we have 6 equals the square root of 1 plus 5 times 7. So replace this 6 by this radical. And notice now that the results we have here, this last equation, and the original equation that we are trying to approximate are exactly the same. That means we can use this square of binomial assigning values x equals 2, 3, 4, and so on in order to generate these nested radicals that Ramanujan discovered more than 100 years ago. And that's the genius of Ramanujan. He can see numbers in terms of patterns. And with his mastery of expressing real numbers in terms of repeated fractions and nested radicals, he is able to see patterns that no ordinary person like me can ever conceive in my lifetime. So for our homework, if we continue the pattern expanding up to x equals 11, 
What is the radical expansion of 3 when x is equal to 11 in this expansion? If you have the answer, please write them in our comments down below. And for more problems like this, here is our recommended video. This is Lando Assistant and thank you very much and we'll see you again in our next video. Bye for now.